Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to share about how to implement plant in your supply chain. Let's begin. There's an old saying, plants are useless, but planning is everything. And that's true for supply chains too. Implementing supply chain management starts with understanding how we want our supply chains to work. That's why plan is the first supply chain process group in the SCORE model. Let's look at the main elements to consider when planning your supply chain and some of the systems you can include in the process. There are four main elements at the heart of any supply chain. First, your customers. Naturally, this includes the people who buy your products or services directly. But it can also include your customers, customers, and anyone else downstream who will be relying on you to deliver a product or service. The next element is your products or services. These are things that you make and deliver that have value to your customers. Third, your resources, including your supplier, your facilities, and your staff. Basically, anything you need in order to make and deliver products. And the fourth element is your constraint. What are the deadlines you need to meet and what capacity limitations do you have? To manage these elements of a supply chain effectively, we need a system. And when we talk about system, we can actually mean two different but related things. First, we use the word system to describe a language and a set of rules that provide consistency across a process. You can implement a planning system for your products by using a product roadmap. To plan your resources, you can take advantage of tools like manufacturing resource planning and enterprise resource planning that plan your production schedule. Making a product is important, but you also need to plan your delivery system. That's how customer will order and receive products from you. And you need to plan a return system to govern the reverse supply chain. Returns could be products that were damaged or defective. So, you want a closed loop system that provides feedback to the rest of your supply chain and can help you prevent those problems in the future. Effective supply chain management starts with the processes you use for planning all of your other processes. And that's why plan is the first process group in the SCORE model. That's the end of my sharing in today's video. Typically, I post videos about operations management like supply chain, inventory, warehouse, manufacturing that help businesses in their operations control. I appreciate you guys and also liking my channels. Have a great day. Once again, my name is Vivian and I see you in my next video.